Louisiana put together one of their best athletic years to date. A Megan Glover here inside of the Cajuns indoor facility. And within that year, the Cajuns would nab nearly a handful of championships capped off by postseason appearances. But most importantly, more opportunities and more stages to put the Cajun culture on display. Men's basketball finished what they started, winning the Sunbelt Tournament title, picking up their first big dance bid in nine years. Not to mention, they did it in dominant fashion, being the first undefeated home team of the Cajun Dome era. It's fantastic. I'm so proud of our guys. They worked extremely hard. They're a really good group, connected. I uh, love the way we played the second half, and it was a great college basketball game. It's what conference tournaments are all about. And speaking of drought, from the court to the green, golf hooked the conference tournament title as well, their first since 2012. We're going to preach that message. We're going to try to get them to be as relaxed as possible and just really enjoy the accomplishment of making postseason and, and enjoying the opportunity ahead. Cajun softball shined bright like a diamond. Get it? Well, anywho, Louisiana picked up their fourth straight Sunbelt title, and they would go yard in the Baton Rouge Regional, advancing to the Supers for the first time since 2016. Regional Glasgow, no more. I remember what year it was, but somewhere in my life here, uh, 2018, 2019, when I first got to UL, I just assumed we were going to win the Regional every other year. And uh, at some point I said, don't worry, I don't want to be known as Regional Glasgow. Meanwhile, across the way, Cajuns baseball was named runner-ups in the SBC tournament, but they had the resume to get an at-large bid to take their talents to South Beach, competing in the Coral Gables Regional. Party city for many, but a business trip for the Water Hose boys. This is a vacation for a lot of people, but we're going down there to win, you know, and uh, it's a business trip, and Miami's cool, and there's a lot of stuff going on, but at the end of the day, we got to win some baseball games. Last but certainly not least, a revenge tour for Louisiana football, but not the season they expected. Finishing 500 in the regular season and with a blowout win over ULM, they would go bowling for the sixth consecutive time. The Cajuns then fall to Jacksonville State in overtime, and now they look forward to getting better in the spring. Now, I could go on and on about other programs, including water ski, picking up another national title, or winning seasons from both volleyball and women's basketball, but this year-end review is just a glimpse into the success and the resiliency of Louisiana. Covering the Cajuns, Megan Glover, KTC Sports.